you see Richard flying down the wing like that, was Richard, like, you know, what, what's going through your mind? Like, what's the quick decision making that you have to do to get that goal in? Yeah, I, I don't know if I think one of their guys maybe lost a, a step there, and I don't know if he fell, but I just tried to jump in the rush and saw we had a break and um, kind of unfolded it. Um, started with a great breakout in our, in our own end, and I just jumped in the play, and, and uh, he put it right on my tape, and I just had to do the rest. So it felt good to get an early goal at home and, and, and get rolling, um, which was sort of a little bit of a trap game for us coming off the road. So especially with them on the back-to-back, -back, we wanted to pounce on them early. Is there even a, a second thought for you right after that? You know, there, Smith is, is probably you right into them. Yeah, I, I mentioned it on the intermission interview, but, you know, I'm not much of a fighter, but I think uh, we have each other's backs. And, um, you know, if you have to stand in there and take a few punches um, to let your teammates know that you got their back, I think that's important. So, um, you know, whether you eat a few or not, win or lose the fight, I think it's just the uh, um, the message that, that counts that not only to their team but for your teammates. And I think we have a good group like that. We all stick together, and um, that brings a team together. And um, other guys have stepped up and done that in the past too. We've heard how much of a competitor he and obviously he comes out of the lineup for comfort. How encouraging is it for you to see him get in there and have the kind of impact he had tonight? Because you must know it probably wasn't easy for him to come out. Of the yeah, yeah, we were, yeah, we were out together, so um, we were doing the uh, the extra work um, that the that the extra guys do. So um, he, he put that work in, and um, I think it's easy to, you know, maybe hang your head a bit as a young player with a, with a lot of promise and a high pick. But I think he had the right attitude about it, and um, you know, he responded and. Um, you know, sometimes it's good for a young player. I mean, some of those guys on the other side, Smith and Celebrini, I don't think they're going to play every game this year either. So um, just the kind of the new development model, and it happened with Carlson last year in Anaheim. So, um, you know, they're not used to playing 82 games. So I think that's uh, kind of a learning curve, but had a great, great bounce back game. I'm happy for him. You mentioned before how much you liked playing with Emil Andre when you were on that pairing together. What did you make of his game tonight? Well, he's played so well that now he's on a better pairing. <laughs> so uh, good for him. But uh, he played really well and uh, deserved his ice time and deserved his time with Sandy. And, uh, you know, looks like he belongs and has confidence to make plays. Really happy for him, playing well. Did you let the uh, thought creep in your head? You know, hundreds of in, you're already two-thirds of the way to where you got. I know. I think I had one a long time ago, but I um, might have to fact-check that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It would have been nice, but uh, we got the win. That's all that matters.